Do you get screen tearing while gaming? Well, you've come to the right place. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is the COD Father here with another video to show you how to eliminate screen tearing. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first things first, let's define what screen tearing really is. It's when one part of your screen doesn't catch up with the other part of the screen. And as the word explains, it just kind of tears. You can see an example of it here in the background. You can just see two images. They're just not stitched together properly. Basically happens when there's a lot happening visually on the screen and a lot of frantic movement. Obviously, it's not nice to see and it will give you a competitive disadvantage. But wasn't G-Sync supposed to fix all that? Well, yes and no. That's a long story, so I'm not going to dive into that today. We're going to talk about how to fix it. Okay, so before we start, just check you have G-Sync enabled in your NVIDIA control panel, including windowed mode. I'm sure you already have this enabled. I'm just making sure. Okay, so a lot of people on the internet will just tell you to go on and turn on VSync. Okay, now the first thing I'll admit is that VSync actually does completely eliminate screen tearing and it does a really good job of it. Uh, but it does add a ton of input lag and even admits it here on the description. And trust me, it's not something that is not noticeable. You can definitely feel it. So I have tried this before and I didn't like the input lag. There is another way to eliminate it without adding the input lag. And there's a clue here in the description and it is to limit your frames. Oh my God, oh my God, this is so controversial. Everyone told me to run unlimited. Yeah, everyone did tell you to run unlimited in their in-depth graphics settings video, but I'm not everyone, I'm your mate. So here I limit mine to about five frames under my monitor's refresh rate to give it a little buffer. So if you don't know what your refresh rate is, you can find it here in the NVIDIA control panel or in the game right here. If you're playing another game other than Call of Duty that doesn't have its own in-game frame limiter, you can do it here in the NVIDIA control panel. You know what's really interesting is that my really old 100 hertz G-Sync monitor actually done this automatically for me. It limited the frames to the refresh rate. That's because in the good old days, they actually had G-Sync processors on board. These days to cut costs, They'll just market the monitor, including G-Sync, but it's really just G-Sync compatible. If you want to check out what your monitor actually really is, there is a link down below in the description to NVIDIA's G-Sync monitor database where you can see what G-Sync technology your monitor has. Okay, there's actually another good reason why you should limit your frames, and that is to keep the GPU and CPU temperatures down. So you'll notice if your PC is generating more frames than your monitor, once you limit your frames, your temps will be a lot lower, which shouldn't surprise you whatsoever. And there's no performance loss. Yes, your PC is generating less frames, but that's okay because it's the maximum amount of frames that your monitor can display to your eyes anyway. So you can see here in this gameplay in the background, if you look at the top, I'm getting about 200 frames on average, and my graphics card is running in the 70s degrees Celsius. My monitor is 240 hertz, so I'm seeing all those frames. But if my monitor was, say, 144 hertz for example i would cap my frames to 140 and i guarantee you my graphics card will be working a lot less and hence a lot cooler so that wraps it up for the video guys if this video helped you in any way please smash the like button share the video with someone who you think might benefit from this video put a comment down below if this worked for you or if you have any questions and subscribe for more content there's going to be a lot of content coming up around modern warfare 3. if you do play modern warfare 3 please check out the video up on your screen now it's a video that i created very recently and it shows you how to set your graphics so that you have maximum frames with very minimal quality loss hope you all have a wonderful week and i'll see you guys soon Peace.